What's up, everybody? It's been six years since I've made the last uh, update video. So uh, I guess let's get started. It's been a while, so um, sorry it's been so long. Um, so the video I'm gonna do today, um, I got a really big box today from Vinegar Syndrome. Um, I bought a lot of good stuff on their recent halfway to Black Friday sale. Um, my buddy Brian, he actually bought some stuff and he got his package last week and I got mine today. But with his uh, order, he actually picked me up a couple things. So inside this box, you'll actually see some duplicates. Those are just his. But the Vinegar Syndrome releases that he got me with his sale is The Suckling. Never seen this movie. Um, I really like the title. Um, it came out in 1989. But if anybody has seen this one, please let me know what you think. But yeah, The Suckling. Uh, I gave Brian my 88 Films Blu-ray and he got me the new edition from Vinegar Syndrome of Slaughterhouse. So yeah, I'm not, I'm excited to have this, um, this edition and he was happy to have my 88 films. This is actually one that I've been wanting to pick up for a while um, because I really like Vinegar Syndrome a lot. I think their releases are fantastic and they always do such a, a you know amazing job. Uh, here's another one that my friend Jeffrey Lee, who used to be on YouTube, um, recommended me and he said that it's really good. Dead Dear Delilah, or I'm sorry, I totally messed that up. Dear Dead Delilah. Uh, but yeah, these I haven't opened yet, so they all have reversible covers. Um, this one's kind of fitting for Pride Month, and my buddy Justin actually just picked this one up, um, Ryan 1988. And it's called Buddies, and it's an LGBT movie. It's technically the first dramatic film that ever took on the topic of the AIDS virus. So, but yeah, I just wanted to show these off first before I actually got into the box um, of what I got and stuff, but yeah. So thank you, Brian, for some of these. He didn't give me buddies, but he did get me these three. So as you can see, it's a big box. And um, uh, me and my buddy Justin were actually talking and I said it'd be really cool if he did an update on his movies and uh, I'll put a link to his video that he made today of his package and uh, he picked up some really good stuff um, he, I think he got eight titles oh wow this is really nicely packed <laughs> uh, I got some free stickers that's kind of cool and uh, I really like how they got this packed. So at least I know they're safe. <laughs> All right, we'll just start with this first pack and then we'll just make our way down through the line. Sorry, this is gonna be a really long video because I plan on uh, opening up each one, unless it's a duplicate, I'll let Brian open up his own. But the ones that uh, I'm getting for myself, I'm gonna try to show off the, the front art but also the back art. <clears throat> okay, so this first one, this is actually one that's for Brian and it's called Pigs. Um, never seen this one, it came out in 1973. Uh, I know Brian's a really big fan of this one and uh, it's just nice to have like a really nice boutique uh, company like Vinegar Syndrome putting something so obscure out. Um, on like such a nice edition. And it actually has quite a bit of special features as you can see there. But yeah, pigs. And as I'm going through these, please comment down below. Uh, let me know if anybody's seen any of these, um, what they think of them. Uh, so as we can see here, we have a duplicate. And of course this is Jack Frost. Um, so one of these will be Brian. So I'm gonna make a pile for Brian. Um, I haven't seen this movie in years. I remember it being a lot of fun. It came out in 1996. 
it has uh, Shannon Elizabeth in it. And I remember that she gets um, raped by Jack Frost. Um, crazy in a shower scene, if I remember right. Um, again, it's it's been a really long time since I've seen it, so I could be wrong there. Um, I'm not going to open this one just because the reverse cover of this one in particular is just him with a happy face. Um, but yeah, looks like it's got a lot of good special features. So I'm pretty excited to watch this one. Uh, this one I've never seen. It's called Flesh Eating Mothers. And I really like that cover a lot. Uh, this one came out in 1988. I've heard a lot of mixed things about this one. Um, so I don't really know what to expect. My friend Adam uh, really loves this one. Um, but I've heard a lot of people say it's some hot trash. But I like hot trash, so I guess we'll see. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and open this one and just check out whatever the alternate cover is. <clears throat> but yeah, I apologize. I haven't made a video in, like I said at the beginning, six years. Um, just between life, work. Uh, me and Brian, we've made some feature films um, in the last six years. Uh, we actually bought the rights to an, uh, a 70s cult film, remade it. Uh, criminally Insane. We remade it. It's now on Blu-ray. If you go to Blu-ray, I'm sorry, if you go to crazyfatethel.com, you can actually pick up a copy. It's our remake of Criminally Insane. Brian and I are like huge fans of it. Um, so yeah, as you can see, there's a Blu-ray and a DVD. And then again, like that's the cover that's here, which I like that cover. Um, let's see what the alternate cover looks like. This one's okay. I think I like the other one better. I don't know if that's an original poster or if that was just something from the movie. I don't even know if this actress is in the movie. But again, obviously this woman probably isn't in the movie either. But out of the two, I think I might like this one better. So I'm not going to switch this one. I'm just going to keep it as is. <clears throat> Has anybody seen Flesh Eating Mothers? What is their thoughts? Um, I'm not really going to go into that one with a lot of uh, expectations. But it's got a nice clear case. And again, it came out in 1988. Flesh Eating Mothers. Okay, so let's open up the next pack. This is like Christmas. And actually, I've never spent, um, I think I got a total of 18 movies. But again, some of those are duplicates because uh, of Brian and stuff that I got him and vice versa. <clears throat> okay. So, coming to our uh, next duplicate. Um, got Brian a copy of Dolly Dearest. So, I'll put his in his stack. And I'll go ahead and open this. Um, this is one of those movies I don't remember too much about it i remember it having some kind of creepy scenes in it but i know a lot of people kind of think it's boring um but i've always loved this cover and i remember when i was little and i saw that um in the video store and this was obviously well you know before bride of chucky um i was always like oh is that chucky you know they should put her and uh, dolly dearest and chucky together and uh yeah but didn't happen we got a uh, Bride of Chucky, which I love, and Jennifer Tilly's amazing as Tiffany. So I wouldn't want it any other way. Okay, so you got again. You got the classic artwork here on the front, which obviously is definitely my favorite. I'm gonna guess. Uh, again, it's a Blu-ray and a DVD, and I think the reverse art is actually going to be this artwork here. Um, I did not buy these. Um, I'm not a huge slipcover fan. I know a lot of people love slipcovers. I have some. Um, I opted out and didn't buy the slipcover to this one, um, but the slipcover was really nice. I will say that. Um, so let's just go ahead and take this out, see what the other artwork is. 
Yeah, I mean, it's cool, but I prefer the one with her sitting there. This one's like more of a, a cartoon drawing. I do like the purple spine though. And uh, this one you get just a black spine. So I'm gonna keep that one on the cover as is. Uh, keep going through these. Uh, what's everybody's thoughts on Dolly Dearest? Do you like that movie? Um, hate it? Leave a comment down below, let me know. Uh, here we go again. Uh, we have another <laughs> duplicate. One of these, of course, will be Brian's. Uh, Deadline. This one I've never seen. I do remember this VHS um, in the video store when I was little. Uh, for whatever reason, though, I just never, it was never one that I picked up to rent. Um, it came out in 1980. That's a good year. And I do, I do love that artwork. But I think this one actually has some really cool alternative artwork. So I'm going to go ahead and flip that over. <clears throat> but I, I've seen uh, in the Vinegar Syndrome uh, fan group that I'm in on Facebook, um, I know a lot of people, I know there's some people that really like this movie, and I've seen where some people don't really care for it all that much. Um, but yeah, if you've seen it, please uh, let me know what you think. Yeah, I really like that artwork. This one at the top more plastic on top again we have a DVD we have a blu-ray I'm gonna go ahead and flip this artwork Let's see what we got here so there is the reverse artwork which is pretty cool um yeah I do love this classic artwork though, so I'm probably gonna keep it on the classic one for now. But that is one of the really nice things about Vinegar Syndrome. Um, I love that they put their releases in clear cases. Um, they always do a fantastic job when it comes to the packaging, um, the special features, just everything. Um, again, I can't say enough about Vinegar Syndrome. Um, they're definitely one of my favorite companies. So, 1980s Deadline. This one came as a recommendation from my buddy Jeffrey. Um, never seen it. But again, everything was 50% off. Um, so I took a chance on it. But it's called Hollywood Horror House. And I did watch the trailer to this. and Or maybe they had a clip of it or something on their website. I can't remember. But uh, it looked like a lot of fun. Um, came out in 1973. So that's... A good year but Hollywood Horror House so I'm gonna flip this one around but like I said my buddy Jeffrey he really recommended this one um, he said it was a lot of fun um, again we have a blu-ray and a DVD <laughs> beheaded head over here on the DVD and there's your Blu-ray. I'm going to reverse this artwork. See what it looks like. Oh! I remember this cover. But it, uh, obviously it's under a different title. So I don't even remember this. So Hollywood Horror House. A.K.A. The Savage Intruder. And it's a beheaded woman with a hand. Oh man. I really like that artwork. <laughs> um... I think I'm gonna switch this one to the Savage Intruder Hollywood Horror House. So yeah, we're gonna switch that one around. Hollywood Horror House, a.k.a. The Savage Intruder. Yeah, 1973. <clears throat> so let's continue on into our next package. I got three more of these. <laughs> <clears throat> uh... 
this next one comes as a um, recommendation from my buddy Jeffrey. Uh, my buddy Justin, Ryan, 1988, he also picked this one up. And again, it's one of those titles I don't think I've ever seen. Um, I don't even remember this in the video store, but it came out in 1987 and it's Berserker. Um, has anybody seen this one? What's their thoughts? Um, my buddy Jeffrey said it was a lot of fun. Um, let's see what the alternate artwork on this one looks like. And one of the things I really like about their their designs and like their packaging, uh, my buddy Kevin and I were talking about this recently, but it's so cool that they have like solid color spines. Like no other company does that. I think that's really cool. So again, we have a DVD and a Blu-ray. And there's the front artwork when it came. There's the face. There's someone in a tent. And then there's the reverse artwork, which no face at the top, but still says Berserker. And then it has a, uh, a tagline and stuff at the top. So, yeah. So on this spine, you get the orange spine. And on this side, you get a blue spine. So I think that's really cool. I like that they, I like that they do stuff like that. Um... Yeah, I think the solid colors look really cool. When if you like, I know some collectors like here on YouTube, they will keep like their collections. They'll keep them in the company that releases them. Like they'll have a Vinegar Syndrome spot, or they'll have an Arrow spot or section. They'll have a Scream Factory section, uh, so on and so on. Um, but yeah, they they look really nice when they're all like colored. <clears throat> Colors of the rainbow. Um, but yeah, Berserker. Anybody seen this one? What's their thoughts? Uh, this is one, I've always loved this artwork. Uh, again, it's one of them that I've, I remember seeing in the video store, but I never rented it for whatever reason. And that is Pledge Night. But I really like that artwork, the hand coming up out of the toilet, holding the banana. Um, I've heard this one's a lot of fun, super campy which is awesome. I love camp. So I don't know if this one has a reverse art because they're, unless it's like new artwork on the other side. <clears throat> I guess we will find out. I think my buddy, I think Justin, I think he said he's a fan of this one. <clears throat> so, Pledge Night. We have a DVD and a Blu-ray. Um, I'm more definitely a fan of the VHS artwork, but I don't know if I've ever seen this artwork. Looks cool, though. There's that dorm, and it's all lit up at night and there's the fraternity paddle with like spikes hanging out of it cool artwork but i'm definitely going to keep the the front artwork here <clears throat> so yeah pledge night in 1988 Oh man. So this next one, um, I've heard a lot of crazy things about it. So I was just like, you know what? I'm going to get it. It came out in 1976 and it's called Let My Puppets Come. Um, so basically this is a porno, uh, with the Muppets. So who doesn't like, um, Muppet porn? Um, I saw... <laughs> Um, Michael Keane, uh, he's a Vinegar Syndrome-holic, 
Uh, he's a super nice guy. I've gotten to talk to him through uh, Instagram. I'm a huge fan of his YouTube channel, his videos. Um, but yeah, he's just an overall really cool guy. And he actually uh, did a really awesome uh, in-depth uh, movie review for this movie. And you'll definitely have to check it out. I'll definitely put a link to it down below. Um, but he shows you like clips. He talks about the movie. Um, and it looks like I was just like, I have to own it. Um, yeah. So, 1976's Let My Puppets Come. Guess, uh, <laughs> guess we'll see what this is all about. I don't know if this one will have a reverse artwork or not. Uh, but there's this artwork. So, let's see if there is another one. Uh, you got, it again, a Blu-ray and a DVD. So, there's the front. Um, that one's okay. I think I like the front better. So, again, there's the front. And then that one is just, like, character windows. Kind of like the front, but I like that it's kind of more like a collage. Um, has anybody seen this movie? Um, I know Michael Keane has. Um, <laughs> uh, please, you know, let me know. Uh, leave a comment down below. Um, and did anyone else uh, pick anything up during this massive sale? Uh, Michael Keane, speaking of him again, he actually made a really cool video where he showed what he was buying when he ordered everything. And then, of course, when he got the stuff in the mail, he did a big, huge unboxing. Um, he reviewed some of the titles as he went through them. Um, definitely check out his channel. He's super cool guy. Um, but yeah. Let my puppets come. Uh, the next one, I had to own it. I'm a huge John Waters fan. Uh, John Waters did not direct this movie, but it does star Divine, and that is Lust in the Dust. Um, I had the DVD of this. Um, I just never upgraded to the Blu-ray. This one actually did have like a really nice uh, limited edition slipcover at one time. Um, but I'm okay with the standard edition and, you know, no slipcover. Um, but I really like this movie. It's been a long time since I've seen it. But Divine is awesome. Um, of course, then you got Tab Hunter in this movie. Um, yeah. So there's the cover. Lust in the dust. Back. Uh, it looks like it's got some special features. And again, you get a DVD and a Blu-ray. Let's see what the alternate artwork is. Uh, this one's okay. Um, I definitely, I think I like the, the front. But uh, again, there's the front. And then this one's kind of like more like a cartoon cover with Divine wrapped around Tab Hunter's leg. Um, yeah, I really liked uh, Divine a lot and uh, I had to own it. So. Lust in the dust. Uh, this next one, uh, me and my friend <laughs> Justin, we were laughing about this one. Um, we both agreed that we had never seen a slasher movie themed around fishing. Um, so I'm really interested to see this one. Um, I don't know. Has anybody seen this one? What's everybody's thoughts? Um, this one's got a top sticker. Uh, but the movie I'm talking about is Bloodhook. Came out in 1986, the year I was born. So that's a plus. Um, never seen this one. I don't think I even remember ever seeing it in the video store. Um, but of course, that's the new artwork. Uh, the reverse has the um, original artwork on the flip side. I'll take the sticker off.
Again, you get a DVD and a Blu-ray. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> so, I think I like that artwork. I mean, I, this one's awesome because you got the killer's eyes and that woman being pulled up out of the water by a hook. But this one is just super campy and super fun. So, I think I'm going to flip it to that one. Uh, it says it's a Troma release. It has the Troma logo on it. Um, I don't know if this is actually one of their catalog films. or I don't think it was actually made by Troma. Maybe it was just one of those movies picked up and released by them um, back in the day. Kind of like Mother's Day. Um, yeah. But has anybody seen Bloodhook? What's their thoughts? Again, solid color spine. I love that. But blood hook. Okay, going on to the next one. I swear this is like Christmas. Oh, yes. Nice. Okay, so this one got its own um, packaging. And I ended up picking up the Amityville Cursed Collection. So this comes with multiple movies. Um, this set is super nice. And with it being half off on the sale, I couldn't say no. Um, so of course this comes with Amityville, the, this is the Amityville The Cursed Collection. So it comes with Amityville Horror, The Evil Escapes, Amityville 1992, It's About Time, Amityville, A New Generation, and Amityville Dollhouse. I just think the packaging is awesome. This uh, topper comes off. And this is like really super thick. Like it's super well made. Um, yeah, they did like a really super awesome job with this. And then of course you have your movies inside. And I think these all, have, yeah, these all have the newer artwork on the covers. And then of course it'll have the uh, original VHS artworks on the flip side. I'll go ahead and uh, open these. Um, I really like this first one. I don't think I've seen, I've never seen Dollhouse and I don't think I've seen A New Generation. I'm pretty sure I've seen 1992, cause that's the one with the clock. The Evil Escapes, this one, the one that stars Patty Duke. Um, I do like this one a lot. It's a lot of fun. Um, again, these are, now these are just Blu-ray releases, so they don't come with DVDs or anything. Um, you get a solid yellow spine on this, on this cover. But then when you go ahead and reverse it, you get a nice blue, light baby blue spine. So that's kind of cool. Um, and yeah, I, of course, I like this original artwork much better. Um, so thank you, Vinegar Syndrome, for supplying the goods and the original artwork. Um, the only one that's not involved in or in this set, um, I can't think of what that one's called, but it's actually, it's part of the Amityville series I believe but it's not um what's the word I'm looking for um I can't think of what that one's called it's not the evil escapes because that's what this one is um the it's something curse the curse of Amityville or Amityville curse um I remember watching that as a kid and like obviously it doesn't have the house in it but I remember kind of liking it, so it'd be really neat if uh, Vinegar Syndrome could one day release it. I remember the the cover has like a guy hanging from a tree, but um, yeah, I definitely like that artwork better than the new artwork. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that back in here. Amityville 2, or I'm sorry, Amityville 1992.
Amityville, 1992. It's about time. Again, just a Blu-ray release. Um, yeah, I do. I definitely remember this artwork from the video store with the house and the clock behind it. Um, but yeah, does anyone else um, are anyone else a big fan of this? franchise or have this box set uh, please let me know down below and uh, like I was saying earlier I haven't been on YouTube I mean I obviously I watch videos on YouTube and I have a lot of friends that make videos um, my buddy Justin, Pizzow, um, Mike Keen um, but yeah I just, I don't know if I'll do this on a regular basis, but my buddy Justin, he said he really wanted me to make a, a new video, and I told him, I guess we'll see what happens, so here I am. Uh, so Amityville, the next uh, new generation. Flip this one around. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen this one. This is the one about the mirror. I don't know if I, I don't think I've seen this one. that around sorry and lastly Amityville dollhouse This one's got a solid lime green spine. Uh, kind of cool. Uh, again, just a Blu-ray. No DVD on this one. And uh, the reverse artwork. That's definitely one I remember in the video store. But it was just one of those ones I was like, eh. But I'm definitely willing to give the sequels a fair shot now that Vinegar Syndrome has put them out in a super nice set. Um, but yeah, but yeah, Amityville Dollhouse. Super nice. Yeah, but like I said, I couldn't say no, especially with this being half off. Um, yeah. So going on to the next one here. God, I'm already at 33 minutes. I'm sorry. I knew it was going to be a while. I knew it was going to be a long video. <clears throat> uh, this is one I have never seen, but um, I've heard a lot of people like it. I know Michael Keane likes it. My buddy Jeffrey likes it. Um, and they were actually having a... Uh, sometimes Vinegar Syndrome will release like new slipcovers for older titles that they released. And I believe this is one that was like one of their original catalog titles. And that is Night Train to Terror. And the only way you could get this, um, you couldn't get it without a slip. But the slip is like super nice. Um, the blood is embossed. Um, but has anybody seen this one? Uh, what's their thoughts? <clears throat> Again, I do remember this VHS artwork from back in the day, and uh, I do like that artwork a lot with the, the bloody knife stuck in the train tracks and the trains approaching. <clears throat> oh, good. Top title sticker here. think now this is one of their older titles so this was actually before that they um like their newer movies they put out 
the discs will sometimes have different artwork and as you can see there's no reverse artwork and both of them look the same um got dvd symbol here and a blu-ray symbol there um but yeah i'm really excited to see this one i've heard a lot of mixed things um some people seem to really like it i know there's a song in the movie that they said once you hear it you will never forget it <laughs> um but yeah some people say it doesn't make any sense because this is actually a hodgepodge um i believe from different multiple movies um but i could be wrong about that but it, that's how it sounded in someone's review um, that they actually, because this is an anthology, um, and maybe they took scenes or something from another existing film. I can't totally remember uh, right offhand. But Night Train to Terror, super cool. I like that artwork a lot. And this new embossed uh, slipcover is super sweet too. Next one I really like a lot is Ice Cream Man, starring Clint Howard. I don't think this one has any ultimate artwork, but maybe it does. Uh, we got a top sticker again. Damn these top stickers. I think they did that for some of their older titles. I don't know. Because some of the newer ones I opened, they didn't have this. Or maybe it's just on specific titles. Who knows? Somebody really doesn't want Ice Cream Man to be stolen. <laughs> uh... But me and my buddy uh, Brian... We actually watched this one not too long ago because he has the DVD of it. Um, but uh, I knew that Vinegar Syndrome had put this out on Blu-ray. and uh, So they have that artwork. I really, I'm kind of disappointed. I wish they would have had the artwork where he's holding the bloody cone head. Um, so this one says the title. And it's the same image without the title. So, I don't know what's up with that. Um, I'm going to have to go ahead and put the title on the cover. Um, yeah. I kind of wish they would have had a reverse artwork with the VHS artwork, I guess it was, where he's holding the, the person's head on the cone. Or it's a cone with eyeballs and teeth and fingers in it. If it wasn't a head. I can't remember. But Ice Cream Man. That came out in 1994. Uh, the next one uh, was recommended to me originally from my buddy Jeffrey, and then he got this Blu-ray, and he gave me his DVD copy inside, and I watched it, and the alternate title randomly, this movie's called Snapshot, came out in 1979, and the alternate title is The Day After Halloween. Uh, I don't really remember there being a Halloween theme in the film, the, the time that I watched it on the DVD that he gave me. Um, but I really like the movie a lot. Um, it's a very good, um, I think it was Australian. If I remember right. I could be wrong. Don't quote me. But I'm pretty sure it's an Australian horror movie. Um, but yeah, I really liked it. Um, it had some really good tension. And, uh, this came out in 1979. You get a DVD and a Blu-ray, and as you can see, the DVD is the day after Halloween. It's got a top sticker, of course. Damn these top stickers. Uh, this really slows down things when you're trying to make a video uh, on YouTube. And I'm crossing the almost the 40 minute mark. I'm trying to hurry, trying to hurry. I might cut some of this down, who knows. Um, but as you can see, snapshot. And then the alternate artwork, the day after Halloween. It's kind of cool. Uh, I think snapshot is a little more fitting of a title because it revolves around photography. 
so snapshot but it's kind of neat that they included this alternate uh, crazy artwork with a crazy title uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and just flip it around for now for the day after Halloween the day after Halloween And on, oh, we're done. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, here's my invoice, got all my stuff checked off. So I know I got everything. Um, yeah, so I don't know if I'll continue to do these, um, but because I got such a cool um, package, from vinegar syndrome and I haven't done a video like I said in six years I apologize um, who knows maybe I'll be back uh, we'll see how well this does and stuff and see if people want me back um, but thank you for watching um, again I apologize uh, we're now almost uh, over 41 minutes but I had a lot to show so hope you enjoyed it um, you can follow me on Instagram I'm on Facebook on Instagram my name is Doug Lander 86 um but yeah hit me up uh love talk about movies i'm a huge vinegar syndrome fan and um yeah hope everybody has a great day and go watch more videos